the slightest doubt is not permitted <laughs> as to the brilliance of your performance. Thank you very much. Nevertheless, <laughs> I went to great lengths of ethics and I hope to have found a few uh, inadequate things. I didn't try to find them just for my own pleasure, far from it, and I hope they will be helpful to you. First of all, the rhythm. I would like you, each time you start your dreaded octaves, I would like you to take the tempo of the orchestra, of the conductor. And therefore, I will have to ask the conductor, in this case, Mr. Isadore, not to retard the end of the city. Could you use that in very opening? Yes, that's the very opening. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, uh, referring to the uh, full score, after letter B, and then just before letter F, letter B is here, according to this. Uh -huh. Now, could we have it spread away? I think it's vital. It's the first contact of the soloist with his listeners. It's rather deadly, shall we say, or isn't it? Clean, but they were somewhat rough. Let's see what I can show you. What I really have in mind, and I'm not sure I shall be able to do so. The spot is rather deadly. First of all, my advice to you would be not to play so close to the point. Try to understand your listener. Your listener cannot possibly be aware of all the difficulties you have to fight at past, present and future time. But the listener might be disappointed if he sees that you are using very little bow. I shall try to imitate you mercilessly. <laughs> I would rather have you play a few notes out of tune, but don't give the listener the impression that you, you are scared. Be scared, but don't <laughs> let it show. And this is the best advice I've given so far to anybody since we started this series of classes. Don't, don't make it known. Uh, your, um, these are your... Uh, Right. And I will ask you to, to read them aloud. But uh, first of all, the beginning. The very beginning. away my observations. Why don't you read them aloud? Rhythm. No, the, the Rhythm. Yes. I thought that there was a false accent. You played. 
I know you didn't intend to, but the Boeing didn't favor your intentions. One, two, three. Yeah. Does anybody notice my fingering in this triplet? It's one, three, two, three. I didn't invent this fingering. Mr. Chrysler gave it to me. One, three, two, three. Uh, the two semi-quavers were not entirely in keeping with the quavers. And this is a great topic. So, in general, too much point. Let's, let's go on. These octaves were very good. What I was missing was the theme. This you can achieve by giving more emphasis to, the, to one of the voices. Now, which would that be the the high voice or the lower voice? The lower one. Indeed, the lower one. try to be musical by slowing down here. This passage is intended to be effective, and Beethoven was known to be a very great piano virtuoso. So don't, don't yield to a, a remorse which is not in keeping with the style. After this... Uh You see, many a violinist with the best intentions feels that the two, the three uh, bars we are allowed of the incredible theme. We must concentrate so hard on them that finally they backfire. Why don't you play them just as they come? Their beauty is so great. Just don't, don't be too uh, self-conscious. And then from the major to the minor, there is a bridge. Don't make it a gap. Yesterday I told a friend of mine that one of my main tasks in life was bridging gaps. Why don't you try to imitate? <coughs> Simple. See, I would like you to acquire the serenity, which is the true symptom of the mature artist. I felt that there was too much excitement here between the major and the minor. You played on.
forgetting the heavy attention to perform. However, the attention is very good. Did you notice that I do make a difference between the diminished seventh chord and the second? Which of the two chords would be softer? Which of the two chords would be harder? No, the other way around. Mr. Mr. Isabel, may I ask you? You see, it's very simple. It's like a resolution. Yeah. Keep this. Keep, keep on reading. Your own condemnation. Yes. I have a def definite reservation as to your detaché. Your detaché is brilliant, it's good, obviously, but I think it could be much better. You, you are using your elbow, and it seems that your effort is far too great. This is what I felt you were doing. <laughs> Not trying to be funny. Far from it. It's a purely anatomical uh, affair. Why don't you try to use your wrist and your forearm, and therefore you, your shoulder will be able to rest. Look, at the point, if I go from the G to the A string, the angle is very... Is, indeed. If I do the same in the middle of the bow, the angle <laughs> is much... Smaller. Much smaller. Here we are. So, look. was excellent. Each time. It was very clear. <coughs> uh, your arabesques were slightly, uh, slightly rigid. Don't make it. Would you give it uh, this beautiful character of improvisation? This was very well played. I'm just trying to show you the way to do uh, better by Beethoven, to do better by yourself. 